Okay, uh, so welcome again, everyone. Welcome, Jess. Um, uh, very good morning to people in the US and a good afternoon to people in Europe. I think we only have people from Europe and US right here. Um, okay, so what I thought we'd do is um, go over the brochure, the um, attachments that um, Flamingo Tours sent us. And uh, if there are any questions, I'm gonna try and capture them and feel free to send them via the chat box too, if you have any questions. And uh, I may or may not be able to answer those questions right now. And if I'm not able to, then I'll just pass them along to Lubov, who's in Bulgaria, who's the person, our contact person, who um, is coordinating with uh, Flamingo Tours, okay? So that's the plan. So with that, let me um, share with you all. One second, let me just open this up first. Um, this attachment. So I have it open and let me share this with you. So this is one of the two documents that we got from Santiago, sorry, from Flamingo Tours. And uh, this has information on the hotels and the kind of plan or the itinerary. So I'll leave it up here. I presume that you have at least browsed through this. If not, I mean, this is your opportunity to take a look at it. And let me know what you think, um, if there are any questions, et cetera. Uh, very quickly, uh, there's, I think, 14 of us who are going to take the hotel option, who have taken the hotel option and sent the money. And um, there are three of us in single rooms. Um, so one of those is me. The other, I believe, is Diego. And then there is a third person. I can't remember who that is, who's also got a single room. And then there are four double rooms and one triple room. And in the triple room, we are going to have Eva and Victoria and Elena. Eva is here, but Victoria and Elena um, aren't here. But um, I know that because I've been in email touch with them. And they've all agreed to it. Okay, so with that background, are there any questions about any of these things that you see on the screen right now? Okay, so one thing that's salient here is that we must leave the luggage at 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, and this would be the morning of the 13th. So we arrive on the 12th. I myself, I know now that I'm going to arrive around noon into um, a Corona, and then I'll get my way to Ferrol by the afternoon. Um, and uh, so the next morning, uh, 8 a.m., we need to have the luggage ready to be picked up uh, in the lobby of the hotel at 8 a.m., and then it'll be delivered to the next place, which is, I think, Neda, uh, if I remember correctly. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, um, uh, by 2.30 p.m. And and then that similar kind of a pattern is going to uh, happen for the next um, six days. So here's the information on luggage collection location. It's Hotel Valencia. They didn't say lobby, but I assume it's a lobby. And then it'll go to Hotel Marcial, which is, I believe, in, in Nida. Um, okay, so... That's the hotel. They have some pictures, which is great. And all the hotels look pretty standard to me and um, nice enough. Um, I hope that you also agree with that. And then we go on to uh, the next location, which is, uh, I uh, forget the name of the location, but in any case, it's a hotel called Afalua. And then we go to, uh, oh, I guess, yeah, the, the, hotel, the city name is out here. So Ponte Dueme is where Afalua is, and then the city is Betanzos, is the next city, I think the fourth one. And the hotel there is a hotel Villa the Betanzos. And then we go to Leira, Hotel Barreiro, and then to Hotel San Vicente in Santiago de Compostela, which would be the last night. So um, that's the idea. And um, the people taking the hostel option, obviously, um, this is not relevant for them. So no surprise, they're not joining this call. There's, I think, eight of them altogether. So it's going to be a group of 22, 14 plus eight. Uh, and then in Santiago, we arrive there on the 18th night. And then the 19th morning, I'm going to arrange a uh, tour of the cathedral with a guide. And it'll be a large, you know, 22 person um, tour group. I don't know how it's going to work exactly, but I'm coordinating with Dr. Ketana to, um, make that reservation uh, get a tour guide i suppose we'll we'll break up into smaller groups and be led by these tour guides 
Um, the first evening in uh, Ferrol, I hope that everyone arrives there by 5 p.m. so that we can have a dinner, uh, kind of a you know first meet and greet kind of a dinner. And if you don't arrive, then not a big deal, right? In, in time for the dinner, it's not a big deal. So long as you arrive by that night, because the next morning we'll obviously be leaving pretty early. And then likewise, on the very last night, on the 18th um, Friday, we'll have a dinner, group dinner. Um, otherwise, I think we are just going to you know, break up into mini groups. Whoever wants to catch up with whoever else, um, feel free to do so. Maybe we'll all decide organically to have group dinners every night. We'll see. Okay, um, one last thing that I wanted to mention here is that uh, I know that, I can't remember who it is, but I know that there is somebody here who's a bit of a mindfulness expert, maybe it's Amy, um, and uh, it would be nice if uh, people kind of showcase their talents, whatever it is that they're good at. Uh, hopefully there is also a musician in the group, uh, maybe they can bring their guitar or we can find a guitar there at Spain after all, right? Um, and likewise, if there are other things, um, you know, if some, someone's a stand-up comedian, for example, maybe they'll give us a little bit of a sample of what they do. Um, and uh, I myself have gotten really, um, uh, I've been pretty regular, I should say, in practicing um, mindfulness through this app called Waking Up, which is an app by Sam Harris. I really like it a lot. Um, and I've been <laughs> basically binging on it a little bit, you know, three, four hours of meditation every day in the last about two weeks. So hopefully that continues and um, I'm happy to kind of coordinate that if no one else picks it up and offers mindfulness classes uh, or sessions, uh, we can do that in the evening. Uh, if some people are interested or a subset is interested, I'd definitely be happy to kind of coordinate it. And it, it would be, what I'm thinking is that I would just play the, the um, uh, guided meditation um, lectures or whatever they're called, you know, sessions through the app and we all just listen in and then maybe have a little bit of debriefing after every session um, just to see uh, you know, what the experience was like for different people, take some questions and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now and see if anybody has any questions, comments. Doesn't look like it. No, do I, I don't see anything in the chat box either. Okay, let's go on I, to the, sorry. I yeah. think for me, I do have a very quick question and maybe you shared this before and I can't remember, but when are we supposed to make the second payment? Yeah, I think it's a month before the um, the um, trip. So since the trip is uh, August 12th, it would be July 12th. Yeah. But just to be safe in case there is some problem in you know um, wiring the money, et cetera, I would suggest um, end of the month, uh, June 30th or so would be ideal, I think. It's actually a good point that you bring up. Um, uh, I imagine that Flamingo Tours would be very interested in receiving the payment. And so we will receive some intimation from them at some point. And um, I'll make sure that we have ample uh, lead time uh, to make the payment. You, know, you get the notice at least a week before the payment is due. Okay, but thanks for asking that question. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to open up the second attachment. And I'm going to share this with you all now. I actually hadn't taken a look at this attachment myself, so this is going to be new for me. Here we go. Okay, so let's see what this has. So I guess this has the root. Um, so I we are going... I, I'm, I'm sure that you all know this, but you know there are different routes to reach uh, Santiago uh, de Compostela, and we are taking the English route, and that's why it's called Camino Inglés here. And um, so I guess this is just a kind of a, a visual representation of the different um, uh, the different places that we're going to go through um right and some history behind it this is great this is kind of like almost like a little um information pamphlet um which is awesome so we are going to walk 119 kilometers over six days so about 20 kilometers a day which is not a trivial distance but it's not overwhelming either i suppose um but you need to be in reasonably good shape uh, or <laughs> it'll force you to get into good shape um, and it's good that they have um, advice for us in terms of what to pack. 
etc. Um, okay, this is great. Okay. All right. So this is awesome. This is really good. So at one point, it looked like we might do the whole thing ourselves because it is just getting too expensive and difficult to coordinate, etc. But I'm so happy that we went through them, at least for the very first time that we're doing this. Um, if you end up doing it again, I suppose we'll have enough uh, experience. But uh, for the first time, it's good to have somebody uh, coordinate all of this for us. Okay. So information about each of these little places they look very cute. Mm -hmm. And there's some elevation that we achieve on some of these days at least. All right, I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory what this is. All right, so um, any, uh, oh, it's good that they have a 4.9 out of five uh, Google reviews. I'm not able to see how many people give reviews, which is another important thing. You know, if it's only like five people, um, that would be one thing, but hopefully it's more than that. Okay, so um, any questions on this or any comments on this one? Okay, I think I'm going to stop sharing that. And this was uh, pretty quick, I should say. <laughs> No, no real kind of questions at this point, it looks like. And um, I want to reiterate that I'm really, really excited to see you all in person. And uh, I think this is going to be amazing. We, it, it's going to be slow and relaxing, I think. Um, we don't need to rush. There's no, at least for me, I'm going to try and clear out um, all the things to do from my desk. Tell people that, look, at you know, don't get in touch with me for the next week or so, so that I can just kind of like um, be there. Um, and uh, be present. So that's my plan, at least. Um, hopefully, uh, you all can find the headspace to be able to do that as well. Obviously, you know, um, we can make plans, who knows what's going to happen in the end, but that's the plan, at least that's the intention. Okay, um, that's it from my side. Uh, if you all have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, raise your hand and uh, speak up. Um, and if not, I will see you all in about a month and a half. And I'm sure that we'll have at least one more meeting, uh, perhaps even two, um, before we uh, all meet up in Spain, okay? Um, just to kind of wrap things up or maybe new questions might arise. But, and also I want to um, remind everyone that you're free, of, you know, free to email me questions. Uh, just because they didn't occur to you right now doesn't mean that uh, this is your only opportunity. Please do email it to me. And like I said, um, my contact person, Lubov, who's been like super helpful, uh, it's really amazing that, you know, she's not even joining us on the trip. And nevertheless, you know, she's coordinating all of this for us. So she's such a sweetheart. Anyway, so thank you very much. Okay, take care. Bye bye. And uh, see you all uh, next time we meet. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.